Now, number eight, we have two vocabulary words, complement angle and uh, supplement angle. Complement angle, supplement angle. We done this two before, but we always talking about in degree. We learned that two angles plus together equals to 90 degrees. And then right now we want to say two angles together plus together equals to pi over 2. And the supplement angle, two angles plus together equals 180 degrees, which forms a straight line. And then right now we want to say is pi radian. Okay, so how you find complement angle? You use pi over 2, take away pi over 9 here. So you find the complement angle. Means these two angles plus together equals to, sorry, uh, which two angles? These two angles plus together equals to pi over 2. And uh, these two angles plus together equals to pi. Now, the instruction says find the complement and the supplement of the angle, if possible. What is po if possible means if one of the angle alpha or beta greater than 90 degree, there's not a possible you can find complement angle because one angle already greater than pi over 2. And when we talk about complement and the supplement angle, we are, we are talking about the positive angles. So need to be smaller than 90. And if we talk about supplement angle, both angles need to be smaller than 180 degree. So pi, pi, uh, a pi over 9 is already greater than pi over 2. So we say this is no complement, no complement angle. No complement angle. My ugly writing, sorry. No complete angle. Okay. Number nine. Negative one zero four degree belongs to which quadrant? Now, if we only talk about negative 150 degree, you understand negative goes to negative direction. This is negative 90 degree. Negative 90 degree, negative Sorry here, negative 180 degree, negative 180 degree. So this negative 104 degree should be between here. Okay, so obviously it's quadrant three. <clears throat> but the problem is what's that? So when you see a little Looks like how many inch? We call this minutes when you are talking about the degree. Fifteen minutes. So fifteen minutes. What it means? It's very similar to the clock. Fifteen 
minutes in degree equals to 15 over <clears throat> 60 degree. You can consider it's something like one minute you have 60 seconds. That type of idea, but not totally we want to talk about with the clock. Okay. Now, 15 minutes is 15 over 60 degree. And if pretty soon you are going to see if you have double this, then we call it second. in degree it means 15 over 60 times 60 um, let me do it slowly okay and then it also means 15 over 60 times 60 degree. Okay, so we are going to have more practice when we have we see more question like this. But anyway, for you see minutes, 15 minutes means not even one degree yet. So it's 104 between 104 and the 105. So just about there. Okay. Negative 104 degree. 2.3 degree. 2.3. One degree actually is very small. Okay, but I draw a little bigger so you can see better. So one degree, two degree, and the 2.3 degree, but just very small. Then it will be on the first quadrant. Now you want to take a look at the decimal degree compared with the minutes, second. It's just two different expressions. Okay. When you have 15 divided by 60, 15 divided by 60, you can, when you, you, how you convert 15 minutes to become degree. 15 minutes actually is 0. Point what? 15 divided by 60. 15 divided by 60. Zero point two five degree. 15 minutes equals to 0 0.25 degree. That's how you do it. Um, I think we pretty soon we have this type of the practice. Number nine, number ten. Okay, so this question happen again. Find two coterminal angles. So you plus. Um, earlier we have a radian, and how to find two coterminal angles. You have this one plus two pi. Or this one take away 2 pi. And then right now we go back to degree. 2 pi is 360 degree. 360 degree. So this angle plus 360 minus 360, we can easily find two coterminal angles. Same thing here, plus 360, take away 360. Now I provide one more answer why I did that. Um, because this angle kind of too big, I can use this one to find another coterminal angle. Okay. 
number 11. Number 11. Okay. Now, complement, supplement. If you have two angles plus together equals 90, how you find the other angle? So 90 take away 53 degree. So that's pretty easy. And the 106 is already greater than 90 degree. So we say it's impossible to find the complement angle. Number 12, convert each degree measure to radian as a multiple of pi. Do not use a calculator. Um, this type of the calculation, I remember my son was done from fourth grade, fourth grade from elementary school. Now, at that time, we learned that multiplier. Multiplier. So, for example, any number, anything. Um, if you have any fraction, okay. If you multiply one, still the same thing, no change. Okay. So, when you say convert, means no change. You want to find something equal. If you want to find something equal, you can only multiply with one. So this multiplier. When you want to um, when you want to convert, basically you want to find multiply. This multiplier maybe four divided by four, right? Maybe cm divided by cm. And right now, if you have negative sixty degree, you want to change it to radian. How you do that? This multiplier need to be, need to be very very special. How special it is? Let me tell you a secret. And uh, pay attention. Then the rest of question will become easy. Okay. So you want to choose a good multiplier. Choose a good multiplier. So say you want to change the degree to become radian. You want to change the degree to become radian means degree is gone. Make sense? Degree need to be gone. So this one, how you make it? one here. You want to have a fraction and the divide by degree. Divide by degree. And you want to have in the end your answer has radian. So your numerator need to have radian there. Make sense? So in the end no matter how you choose, you can reduce the degree. After you reduce the degree, you may have radian as your new unit. So this is a smarter choice, a good choice. Now the problem is, what's that? Okay. Now keep in mind, the whole fraction need to be equals to one. They don't look the same. Like, uh, for example, here let me give you another example. You want to multiply one here, but you don't necessarily to always use five over five, three over three, or cm over cm. You can say one feet is 12 inch 
remember? One inch, one feet equals to 12 inch. If you use two different units in one multiplier, and uh, this multiplier, this multiplier, one feet is 12 inch already. So this is one. Yes, no problem. So my suggestion is I always use radian pi equals 180 degree. Make sense? Radian pi is 180 degree. So by this way, this and this are the same thing. So the whole fraction equals to one. So let me rewrite and make the, my my whole work looks more um, clean here. So let me erase. So let me erase. Okay, so any degree, let me give you an easier number for the degree, like a, one degree, you want to change it to radian. My suggestion is you need to multiply with one, right? You need to multiply one. But this one, how it looks like? This one need to look like a fraction with radian in the numerator and the degree in the denominator. And the, my suggestion is the radian you choose pi and the degree is 180 degree. So you may reduce the degree and the save this pi in the end. So one degree is pi radian divided by 180. So in other words, one degree you can convert to, so this is one degree equals to pi over 180 radian. Now we can go to our homework example here. Negative 60 degree, you choose okay. okay, so we always want to choose pi Pi radian over 180 degree. So pi radian over 180 degree. I think my computer doesn't work well right now. So pi radian over 180 degree. And by doing this, you may reduce the degree and save the radian. If you don't see radian, means radian. So you have here, sorry, radian. Okay. So you have negative 60 divided by 180, reduce, you have negative pi over 3. Now, sometimes if you want to convert the radian to become degree, then you choose the reciprocal as the multiplier. That's the other multiplier. So it depends on if they give you degree, you choose the multiplier with degree on the denominator. If they ask you to convert the radian to become degree, then the multiplier you want to choose is 
you want to have 180 degree on the numerator and the pi radian on the denominator. We are going to see this type of question pretty soon. So 144 degree, if you have degree, then you have degree on the denominator. So you can reduce the degree and then you find the answer. Number 12, let's start, number 13. Okay, number 13. This time they give you radian. Therefore, you want to have a radian in the denominator to cancel out and the 180 degree on the numerator. So after you cancel out the radian, okay, this time radian need to be on the denominator. So you can reduce. So negative 0 0.62 multiplied with 180 degree, then you convert radian to become degree. Now, 50 degree and 15 second. Now, we want to change a minute, 50 minutes. You want to change a minute to become degree, so you divide by 60 and become the decimal number. Now, this decimal number is degree. Okay. So, that's how you convert minutes to become degree major. Same thing, 45 here, divide by 60, you change it to decimal number, plus them all together. Okay. Number 15. They ask you to find the Dense of the arc. Remember, we have the formula. The dense of the dense of arc divided by the radius is the definition of the angle measured by radius. So this is just definition. Okay, the measure of the arc divided by the radius. And then it's the angle in radian. So we simply use the formula. I show you other way to do it, but we may directly use. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um. First, you have to convert degree to become radian. Because remember, this formula is talking about, about the radian. So 300 divided by 360 is 5 over 6. So you may use this formula. The Q central angle. Uh, sorry, sorry, let me see. Central angle. Find the length of the arc. Okay, if they give you the central angle. So, 5 over 6 equals to, and then you want to find the length of the arc. And the radius, what's the radius? Radius is 13. Okay. So that's one way you can find the length of the arc. Did I do the right thing here? Pi r squared. I think I'm, I was using the area formula. So, um, I suppose to 2 pi r. So, 300 over 60. Area. Oh, I think when I do this question, I totally doing nonsense. <laughs> I totally doing nonsense. So, don't even use Central angle, sorry. Okay, so that's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. Now, 300 degree equals to how many? 
radiant. I need to redo it. This 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 is not right. Okay, so just don't don't trust don't trust my work and, uh, and nothing nothing you want to duplicate because the whole thing is talking about area and right now we are we only talking about the length of the arc. Sorry about that. Let me redo the whole thing. Okay. So first, first you have to find you have you have to convert 300 degree to become radian. So 300 degree multiply pi over 180 degree. So you have 300 pi over 180. You cancel out with the degree. And then it is 30, 15 over 9 pi. Reduce more. Is 5 over 3 pi. So we have 5 over 3 pi. And the radius is 13. Is 13. We need to find the length of the arc. Therefore, S divided by 13 equals to 5 over 3 pi. So you multiply 13 on both sides. Reduce. So you have S equals to 5 times 13 is 6, uh, 65 over 3 pi. So this is, oh, so this is our final solution. Hope I did it right. And uh, the the unit is inches. Number sixteen, we have the same. We can use the same formula. S over R equals to theta. Now I use other way because the length of the arc compares to the whole circumference is the same of the angle compares to 2 pi. 2 pi is the angle for the whole circle. So you can use this way then. If you understand this one, then you don't need to memorize the formula. But if you don't understand this part, then you just simply memorize this formula. So that's the formula. Okay. Now, S is 9. Radius is 13. So this one pretty easy. Find the radian. Of the central angle. Oh, okay. They show you the picture here. Okay, so we are using the same formula S over R equal to angle. So S is 49, R is 70. So you can easily find the central angle. Okay. Now talking about the area, I will make another video. So see you soon. Bye.